so we have now taken uh, apart all of the different parts, all right? And we have our extraction door, our swing arm, and our hand bolts, our O-ring. And we have either a cotter pin or some small black O-rings to hold on the swing arm into place. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put our O-ring into our product door. Okay, so this O-ring may be a different color, but it's gonna be the same. And you might, when you're first doing it, find that, oh, it's a little bit bigger than I think it should be. And that's normal. You're gonna be pushing it in as you go down, and it's gonna fully fill the space. So we have everything in place, we have our door, and we are going to take some lubricant and just a light bead all the way around. This purpose of this lubricant at this point is, is purely just to be giving, when you're doing the opening and closing motion of the door, to be giving it some lubrication there, okay? So it's food grade, and you're just doing a little bit, and then you can go ahead and just take a towel and take care of that. Now we are just gonna go ahead and place our extraction rod down. So we put the lubrication all around the O-ring. And then we're gonna place in our O-ring or our cotter pin, depending on which uh, version you have. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place our swing arm locking door on top. And then we are just gonna tighten that into place going, if you kinda see it's backwards thread there at that point. And then we're gonna go get and get our hand screw to tighten there. And then from there, we are good to go, we have it assembled. Now what some operators will do as well, depending on what they're making a lot of product, is that they will take and they will actually add a little more lubricant to this area. It's, it's up, completely up to you and what you'd like to do. If you're making a lot and opening and closing it frequently, it's, it might be a good idea. And then you can kind of get that and move that back and forth and that's gonna allow you to continue to open your swing arm or your product door. So at this point, we're going to close the top of our hopper, bring our door up, and swing it around. And then as you can see, we've already put in to our main door o-ring, and we have a separate video on showing you how to put that one in as well. And that's been pressed down all the way, and this does not get any lubricant. Uh, our white bearing is going to have been already been slid in, as you can see right here. That usually just stays in there, um, and there's no need to add lubricant to that. And then you, we have hand screws here, which we've tightened, and they have put in place the hopper door. So these hand screws here just come out and in, and so you can take that on and off during washing, and there you are. And then some of our models will also have a secondary gate and door here, which we will send you a different video to go through. Now that we've assembled the door on our Enrymark EM10 batch freezer, we are gonna go ahead and bring it into play, bring it down, and what you'll notice is that also on all of our hinges, we have a little mark there that will make sure that the door doesn't open all the way and then go too far. We now take the door, push in, and then we are going to take our hand lever, pull down. And then at this point, we have already assembled the front of the cabeza, and so we're just tightening this up, or the door head. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put sanitizer in before we do a run. So we'll see you in a bit.